everybody and welcome back to Life is Strange. Uh, I am still working with my audio because it's like too quiet in my opinion. Maybe it is just me, but and then last time the game audio was way louder than it needed to be. So I've turned that down and I've turned me up a little bit. It might be too much. I won't know until afterwards. I will eventually get it right. It will eventually click and it'll be perfect and exactly how I need it to be. It just is not there yet. But anyways, I figured we'd go through and read these few pages um, that she wrote last time. It'll give me kind of a little refresher too of what happened last time and then we'll just keep going on. There's not much to read. It won't be like the last time when it was like just a ton of stuff. But anyways. Um... I think I read this one already. Yeah, I definitely read this one already. Um, okay. I felt so shitty, I just wanted to get to the bathroom to be alone and wash my face after that nightmare. Or daymare. Once I got to the bathroom, I saw this odd, beautiful blue butterfly flutter in, and right when I took a photo of it in the corner, Nathan Prescott came in. Freaking out, talking to himself, I hid in the corner, and his... And this punk girl came in. They started arguing about drugs and money. Then Nathan actually whipped out a gun and shot the girl. This is where it gets strange. When Nathan fired the gun, I came around the corner and reached out for some dumb reason, as if I could stop the bullet, but suddenly I could feel the world twisting around me and this pressure in my head. Everything seemed to rewind, and I found myself right back in class at my desk. I literally thought I had been uh, dosed with some drug until I calmed myself down. I saw everything happen in class the way it did before. Major groundhog deja vu. Somehow I was able to actually rewind time. I knew the only way to find out if I was having a breakdown was to go back to the bathroom and see if I could save that girl from Nathan this time. I had no idea how I... Um, I had no idea how either. I just knew I couldn't live with myself if I let her die again. I escaped Jefferson this time by knowing exactly how to answer his questions and rushed to the bathroom. I hid in the corner again and I couldn't believe it when Nathan showed up freaking out all over again. Then the girl came into the bathroom and before Nathan could shoot her I smashed open the ancient fire alarm and scared both of them away. Victory. Until I got grilled by the security chief David Matson, who thinks he's Chuck Norris. Blackwell Ranger. Nathan Prescott almost kills a girl in the bathroom but no I'm the problem. I was so glad when Principal Wells stopped in to shoo David away. Yeah, but then he also blamed you for stuff that you didn't do. So, I don't know if it was better or not. <sighs> then I made the possibly fatal decision to inform Principal Wells that I saw Nathan waving a gun in the bathroom. I didn't think I should mention the girl or my new rewind abilities for obvious reasons. He didn't want to believe me and almost made me feel like shit for telling him that Blackwell's most big effing deal student would carry a firearm to class. I couldn't tell him that he actually killed a girl in a previous timeline. So my school day started with an um, apocalyptic dream then ended with saving a life and discovering I have some kind of power to rewind time. I don't know how to top that. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think you can top that, honestly. I don't really think anybody could top something like that. Okay. Let's... Yes, we have a new person. Two people, David. Well, I swear that security guard is the biggest ass here, and that's saying a lot. He always treats everybody like they've committed a crime or they're about to commit one. He grilled me in the hall today, and I... And I thought he was going to arrest me. I don't know much about him, but I heard he was kicked out of the army or something. So of course he would end up at Blackwell Academy in charge of security. Aren't you supposed to feel, I don't know, secure on campus? Bro... Okay. <laughs> Bro dude swaggers everywhere with that badge and gun like he's looking to tase somebody. We're gonna have to work on that, Max. I don't know about that lingo right there. Don't know how that makes me feel. Um, he would make a good photo portrait of authority, though. Who does a guy like that marry? I feel sorry for his family. It would be like living in a barracks. Shudder, just another person I have to avoid at Blackwell. Collect them all. Okay. And then we've got the principal as well. Uh, I can't figure out where Principal Wells is coming from. For some reason, he seems to be suspicious of me at all times. Who knew I was that much trouble? 
He wanted to know why I was zoning out in the halls. I stuttered like a fool. He has so much power over my scholarship I got. I get uber nervous around him. I've seen him laughing with other teachers and students, so I know he must have a problem with me. He also seems a little stressed out. I would be too if I had to oversee Blackwell and all its drama. I thought I smelled alcohol on his breath, but that could have been his cologne, right? But I remember my first meeting in his office and he was so nice and made me feel like I was becoming part of a special world. He said he hoped I would become a great photographer and someday return the favor to Blackwell. I thought that was a bit of a wish, f uh, I thought that was a bit of wishful thinking, but it made me feel good. I just need to lay low around him until I can somehow gain his trust. Alright. We'll see if that happens. Gosh, I really hope my audio is not weird. Okay, we're just gonna hope for the best. That's all we can do, right? Hope for the best. I feel like I need to turn myself down because I feel like now I'm too loud, but I don't know for sure. I'll turn myself down just a tiny bit. The tiniest bit ever. Okay, we'll see if that is better or worse, who knows. Okay, sorry. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Okay. Oh, we can speak to her. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Uh, sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Uh, that's crazy. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land, to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Yeah, I don't want... I think that's illegal. Absolutely. Is it not illegal to have cameras security, actually in dorm rooms? Pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Like, I would maybe understand having them in... I don't care if it has consequences. I made the right decision on that one. Like, I know that you could have, like, it makes sense to have cameras in the hallways, maybe, of the dorm rooms, but not physically in dorm rooms. That, unless if she didn't mean that, but dorm rooms is dorm rooms, right? I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Whoa. That's a lot of her poster everywhere. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. This Friday night, do the Bigfoot stomp, the Bigfoots versus the Razorbacks. October 11th, Friday night, 7 p.m., Blackwell Field, come as a Bigfoot, win a prize. Come as a Razorback, your bacon. Hmm. Alright. Best slice in Arcadia Bay, Baba's Pizzeria. Okay. Well, we won't be going to that, more than likely. Okay, I guess I need to do my due diligence and talk to everybody. Hello? Hayden? Hey, Hayden. There she is! The retro selfie mask. That's me. That's me, alright. Mm -hmm. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Yeah, 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 Not yeah, the yeah. Most. Yeah, well... What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. Mm -hmm. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night 
then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Hang with the Vortex Club. You mean hang with the Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. <laughs> like, wh like who? Me? So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, what happened to her? What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. That could be a lot of things. Uh, did Victoria like Rachel? Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. Uh, I think she I do. Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Should we talk about Nathan? I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I'm nosy, so it doesn't matter. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. <sighs> let's not let's not dive deeper into this. We don't need to make more enemies. I'm just going to say fair enough. Fair enough, but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, is fucking hilarious when he's blazed and he does always have the best shit. Let's talk later, Hayden. Hi, Max. No. I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Yeah, okay. I don't want to stir the pot more. We've already created problems, probably, for Nathan. Uh, and we may have already made enemies with him, more than likely, I'm guessing. I don't need other people to be upset at me for saying my suspicions of him. So we're just going to keep it cool. We don't need that right now. We've probably already made problems for ourselves, uh, I'm guessing. So, eh, whatever. Here's Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I was curious on who was flying the drone, but sh I'm not good at flying drones in real life, so this is probably not going to be good, but yeah. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons, and this is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? I don't like uh, I don't like the right? condescending tone uh, that you have. You read there. too many conspiracy so... sites. This might be too complicated mm. for you. Honey, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Excuse you? Oh my god. No, we're uh, no, 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 no. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. I hope it does crash. That's all I have to say. Is this her backpack? I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit... What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. <laughs> High fly B400. I mean, 14 and up. She didn't notice us do that. It seems a little weird. Oh, does that mean I got something? I forgot what that meant. But I don't think it means that. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Whatever, I didn't want to talk to her anyways. Oh, now I get a text message. Okay. Oh my god, they type so fast. I can't read that yet. So, hold on. What'd they say? Um... So that was earlier. Hi, Max. Can you get my flash drive? I need some info and space. Hello. Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Alright. 
Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Well, we can do that here in a second. I'm ex I'm exploring. Oh my god, there's journal pages too. I don't see anything. Oh, maybe this. But there's nothing new, so. They're tripping me out. I don't know. What's this over here? This this caught my eye. Is that a what is that? A shark eating a dog? Oh, that's not nice. Oh, it's an otter. Poor little otter. That looked like a dog in my opinion, but it's an otter. It, so they are a sea pups Ooh, though, so it's not too to far off of a guess. All right, what's going on over here? More posters. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. That makes sense that it's otters. Okay. Otter power? I'm so not there. <laughs> Can you swim to success? Probably not. And this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. Say, or, oh my gosh. Um, Max doesn't look like a swimmer. She doesn't look like very athletic. So I have no idea. I don't think she does anything athletic that I know of. There's the lot, but we have to go to the dorm room first. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Mm hmm. Um, too much information to be here now. Multitasking keeps you busy, but not alive. Social media is no replacement for reality. Come visit the Buddhist Center. Bully much? No bully thinks they are a bully, so think about that before you bully. If you think you've become a bully, please go to www.bullyforyou.org. We'll stand up for you. Okay. Bible study, looking to join fellow Christians to read and discuss. Thanks and God bless. Contact KM. Oh, Kate, Kate, Kate. Who are you? Wish I could talk to some of these random people. Okay, anyways, beside the point. I guess we can sit. I don't know. Sure. So bizarre to be back here after five oh, years. Okay. I thought I could just fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, at least you can sit by the tree and, you know, and just relax for a second. It's not that bad, Max. Don't don't get that way. It's going to be okay. I feel like there's probably like a photo opportunity out here somewhere, but I don't know for sure. Ha! Wow. I'm amazing. Just had a good feeling. This big open space, there had to be a photo opportunity. Uh, where are my photos again? Yeah, there it is. Okay, got it. So there's like a broken skateboard. I wonder if these go in order or not. And there's a squirrel drinking out of a soda can. Okay. I'll try to keep my eye open. No guarantee I'll get them this all. This is a but great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. Another sitting opportunity. Kid, my dad be okay. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna read that one. Please go ahead and kill me. Please find me a boyfriend for prom. Who writes... Okay, who graffitis on this, though? This seems silly to graffiti on this. 
Thanks. Thanks for the coins, bitches. Hmm. That's a great sign right there. Should I sit and just see what she says? I'll do it, just in case she says anything interesting. Probably won't, but you never know. What do you guys say? This day has been so <sighs> That it has. You are Everything correct. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Alright, that's enough of that. Alright everybody, keep an eye out for a broken skateboard. Wherever that may be at. We'll talk to these gals. Stella. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Sure. Well, I'll just say not sure yet. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I mean, he's clearly a genius, but I don't agree with everything he says. He does get a bit pretentious, but he's passionate and just says what he thinks. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Uh, Victoria? Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Okay. Now, how do you know this? <laughs> you have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Hmm. Well, I heard that from a good source. Yeah. Did you, did you know her? So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of click. Mm. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Huh. So the gossiping has started. Ooh. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. Okay. Are most of these his then, I'm guessing? That looks comfortable. Who is this? Okay, well, can't talk to her anyway, so it doesn't matter. There's Daniel over there. What are these guys over here doing? That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. Okay. Oh, I see skateboards. Any broken ones? Boys? Hello, Justin. Yo, Justin. Yo. Check out the mat. Come to thrash? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh. Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple no slider or tape, uh, Max. You should walk on. No, I need. No, 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 we're not gonna do this. I don't even care. Alright, speak. Yo, Justin. Check out the map. Yeah. <laughs> I came to no slide, obviously, Justin. I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Absolutely not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Oh, what do I want to see? I want to see the nose slide. Sounds cool. I'd love to see a nose slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Maybe I need to see the other one? Maybe that's how we get a broken board? Hey. You're not really a skate Betty. Not really. <laughs> not really. Too bad. It's nice to have the females on board too. Rachel Amber and her punk friends love skating with us. Hmm. Punk friend? Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair. Hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. Uh, you knew Rachel? 
You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day, she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with the boards. Okay. That's actually nice of him to say that. Uh, you hang out- <laughs> you hang with Victoria? Probably not. But you maybe. hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Yeah. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Oh yeah, she said that she's like totally into skater boys and stuff like that. Totally forgot about that. Yeah, they seem they seem nice enough. So. Hello, Daniel. What are you up to? What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I um ask you a question? Mm-hmm. Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Sure. Why not? Doesn't really matter. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Hmm. Everybody knows her. I mean, she is popular. It's been stated several times that she's very popular. You knew her? You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. Hmm. Uh, what happened to her? So, what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Hmm. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. It's hard to avoid her posters. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Okay. Oh, that's a good posture. Uh, thank you. Oh. Good. Good. Oh, wow. Best portrait ever. I love it. How will this action have consequences? Thanks, Max. I'd like to draw you another time if you want. That was so cool. I'm glad I talked to him. Take more chances, Max. I'm glad I talked to him, too. That's one of his famous shots. I love Gosh, how there's it so much the stuff around everywhere. It's crazy. So many people to talk to. I'm wondering if I needed to have those guys do a tray flip and maybe they would have broke the board. But, oh well. We've, we've passed that opportunity now. Luke. Oh, there's some graffiti. Clever. What does that say? Vortex Club sucks. Hmm. Hello, Luke. That's Luke Parker. Zachary Aww. pushed him into a locker last week. Go bully. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Okay. Um, what is everything? I don't know what to say. What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Mm. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You you know him. Should I be bragging about this? Let's do it and see if it has consequences. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. Well, it didn't say that my actions have consequences, so I don't even care now. I'm leaving it. Okay, we're gonna go there next. Oh. Hello? Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hello, Evan. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? 
Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. Okay. You'll have to answer a simple question. Mm -hmm. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Jeez, I don't know. This person. Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh my. You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Well, lucky for you. Lucky for you, Evan, I've got powers. Hey, Let's see if you're worthy of it, Mac. Uh, this person. Uh, Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. Damn. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. That's probably not even worth it, but who cares? We have this power for a reason, you know? And this is exactly what hey, we're meant Evan. to use it for. Let's see if you're worth it. Yeah. Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographers. Ah, okay, well, it's the last one. How did I manage to get it wrong every single time? Good try. Wrong answer. Thanks. Well, you're about to get your mind absolutely blown because I'm about to get this right. And uh, to you, it's going to look like it's my first try. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. <sighs> Thank That's you. I know a ton you're of things. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? Yeah. It's not a privilege I grant to many. Well, I'd be honored, sir. I can see why. There's probably not many that would be really interested. So, that's all I'm going to say. These photos are great. Ah. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. A lot of stuff about Rachel. All right, thank you. Thank you for wasting my time. It doesn't matter. All right, everybody. See you later. I'm going, going to the dormitories. I know it took a while to get to this point, but there's a lot of stuff going on. So, it's fine. Oh, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. Oh, I see Kate over there. I'm definitely gonna go talk to her if I can. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. All right. What are you guys up to? Hey, Logan. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. I didn't want to take a picture of you. Oh, there's that one. He's the mean one. I bet they're both mean, but this is... Who is this one? Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Big football. Whatever. Hi, Kate. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Hey, Kate. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. I'm not gonna say. How was class? How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Uh, Is there anything? Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Well. Should I... Probably not worth it. Okay. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Well, as long as people nice. are actually using them, then yeah. Oh, dude. Who's this person? Alyssa. Oh. Hi, Max. What are you reading? What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Alright. Oh, these. this looks fun. Let me through. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield. The selfie hoe of Blackwell. Well. Yeah. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Well, he doesn't fall for anything you the do, so... The processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. Easy! We ain't moving. I got this in the back. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. 
so original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post okay. it all over social medias. Mm -hmm. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Mm. Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Don't worry, I got this in the bag. I don't yet know what I'm doing. I don't want to mess with that. But I'm going to totally figure this anything. out. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Okay. Alright. All right. I got this. I got this. I got this. Hello? No. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. Hmm. Samuel Da Vinci. Awesome. Sneak into his. Oh, a water pump. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What does it do? What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Oh, yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Okay, they're still in front of the steps, though. So now what? Okay, let's think, let's think. Is there anything else in here? Please. Okay, so maybe I need to tamper with that. Hold on. Maybe we need to rewind time and tamper with that somehow. Maybe. Okay, let's rewind. None shall pass. Capiche? No. It has to be like I mess with that or something, right? Do I need to like go all the way back, maybe? Okay, hold on. Yeah. Keep going back, Sam. Keep going back. Tamper. Okay, let's see if this works. Alright, alright, alright. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. And then we use this to get them off the steps. What the hell? Are you Okay, okay, let's see how this goes. Anything? Yes. No way. No fucking you okay, way. Okay, Victoria. Oh, Sam, you're sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. No. Nope. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah. All righty. I hope you enjoy that. Should we talk to her? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? <sighs> I could be mean, right? But I won't be. I'll be nice. I'll be nice, even though mentally I'm, like, thinking mean I things. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. No. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and, and the go fuck your selfie. Yeah, well... That was mean, but pretty funny. Just oh, one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Thank you. Okay. I could have been mean, but... Victoria probably played me. I should have Yeah, her. I probably should have, and I probably will regret that decision later, but I don't care. Let's just be nice. Let's just be nice. Nice, nice, nice. So nice to everybody. Oh boy. There's a lot of stuff in here. 
Oh. You guys better hurry. She's gonna hurt you guys. Pissed we took so long. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Black Hill. Ah, okay, there you go. TV lounge, vending machine. Oh, she got a big room. Victoria got like a bigger room. That's interesting. HIV and AIDS aren't just initials on a poster. Um, these are serious life-threatening diseases, and nobody is immune from exposure. Get the facts now. On September 16th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet. Okay, so we've we've seen some of this already. Oh, what is it? To the bitch that stole my Franju new face cream. That was expensive shit, and I need it for my acne. I know exactly how it exfoliates. <laughs> And I'll be watching your skin the second it clears up. Alright. Seems some, like something that you'd put on a bulletin board. Seems important. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly uh -huh. pathetic. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Whose room is that? Welcome to Black Stella. Hill. Stella Hill. Okay. Interesting. No boys allowed. As if. Juliet, extreme reporter. <laughs> Stomp em, Bigfoot. Zane is still a cheerleader at heart. Uh, that's good. She, she's got a, a hobby, you know. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Don't be afraid, be ready, young guns training. Even under 21, you can still learn how to operate firearms from AK to... Don't know how to say that. Young guns use uh, uses fun, safe, perfect plastic replicas. Okay. Bunch of posters. Another missing persons poster. There's so much stuff, honestly. Uh, be alert on campus. Observe the following tips for your safety. Always be aware of your location. Always let a friend know where you are or where you are going. Always report any incident immediately to the campus authorities. Okay. Could be fun. Ooh. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. A geek Girls Book Club. Looking for like-minded souls to read and discuss authors Ursula K. something, Robin Hobb, Neil Gaiman, Piers Anthony, Terry Brooks, David Calvo, Marion Zimmer, Bradley, and the usual flying dragon shit. No boy wizards or sad vampire fiction allowed. No boys, period. Well. Could be fun. Thanks for the warning. The Vortex Club. Ah! Oh, can't go in there. It's the showers. Oh. At least that's an alarm from this century. Hmm. What is this doing? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Why is it out in the middle of the hallway like that? Don't be they a live. zombie. Alright. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Alrighty. Whose room is this? 222. Whose is that? Hold on. I don't know whose room that is. But I feel like it's Kate's. Welcome it to is. Black okay. I don't regret that decision, and that's a good choice to to hide that up for whoever put that there. Because we know she didn't put that there. Okay, that's my room. This is. Oh, Victoria, give me a. This is Victoria's break. room. Okay. 
which for some reason she's kept the door partially open, but that's okay. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? This is your planet, and when it comes to protecting the environment, you are the boss. It's up to us to make a choice, so come raise your voice. Save the Earth. What is up with that picture on the... Like, that little... What is that? Okay. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Yeah, but we all know, we all know, we all know how that is, you know? All right. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have well, nothing well, to say. We might as well put something. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, it's good enough. All right, here is our home room. sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Hmm. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are of graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer, I... Congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await you your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Okay. I have nothing to say about that. Oh, I can take a photo. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Oh, I got a Just more stretch. Got a message. Oh. <sighs> Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell Honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he is worried you are telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this. Well, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, there's new pages. Well, obviously. Everything feels so surreal right now. I can't talk to any ab anybody about this. Well, the only person I could, I haven't seen in five years. I could confide in Warren. He's smart and knows science, so maybe he could even think of an explanation. Though I have no idea what that could be. Until I can figure this out, I better stay on the down low with this stuff and focus on my classes. Warren sent me a text... Uh, asking for his flash drive back even though I haven't had a chance to check out all the cool shows and films on there. I watched a few episodes of Doctor Who and X-Files, binged on Full Metal Alchemist, then Faster Pussycat, Kill Kill, all kinds of Amazon woman black and white badassery, Tetsu, a total cyberpunk trip with amazing visuals, and Scott Pilgrim for about the millionth time. On a side note, uh, oh my god, on a side note, I saw a missing persons poster on campus for Rachel Amber, a pretty Blackwell student who vanished. It's so sad to see her smiling face and think about the awful things that could happen. If there was a way for me to rewind back six months, I totally would. I had to go back to the dorm to get Warren's flash drive, and yes, Victoria and her Vortex vixens blocked me from getting in and even took my picture. It was so high school movie. I can't believe she did it. She actually told me to go F your selfie. Though it was funny. I don't know why she has to act that way. She already has everything she wants, doesn't she? And she forced me to use my rewind until I finally came up with a way to get her out of my way. I don't want to use this power for trivial bullshit, especially if I if I have been given an actual gift from the universe. But it did give me a chance to test it out. But I felt like shit seeing Victoria sitting there by herself on the steps covered in paint. She didn't look like the queen biatch of Blackwell, just a lonely girl as confused as me. I knew I had to find out if she was okay. She was actually nice and apologized. She even deleted the picture she took of me off of her phone, so maybe there is hope for the future. Maybe. Maybe not, though. I don't know. 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 And then these are just like, jeez, oh, I apologize. Okay, I'm not seeing anything else. Rest. All right. 
Can we take, let's take a photo. Sure. All right. See, that's down there. So did we miss photos then? Or maybe they are out of order. I have no idea. Got my teddy bear. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. No. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Mm. Power strip. Turn off. Okay. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. It's not that bad of an idea, honestly. It could be worse. So cheesy, but... It makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. I don't really want to lay down, I don't think. I think she's Cuddy, just going to talk song, again. Do I know Hamilton the Greatest? I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? Mm. I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. Okay. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that, just in case. All right. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. <laughs> Must be your friends from back in Seattle, I'm guessing. Okay, let's look over here. Ooh, cookies. I love that Mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites. Oh, for my that birthday. sounds so good. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. Oh my god. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. I would honestly just be okay with the chocolate coconut. Oh, that sounds so good. I could totally have something like that right now. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. It is your special day. We miss you, but we are so proud that you're following your dreams. Love your mother and father. Okay. It's nice. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Oh, that's all that matters. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? <laughs> okay. It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. Well, fine. Let's play it then. Why not? We've got all the time in the world. Not really, but... Not sounding so bad. Okay. We can't skip this, so we're just, we're going on forever, guys.
I didn't think she was gonna play a whole song. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I'm scared we're like in an infinite loop now and she's never gonna stop and we're just gonna be sitting here forever. Oh my god, Max. It doesn't sound bad, like it's good, but wow. Wasn't expecting a full three minutes. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Huh. Oh. Should I water my plant? You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Well, apparently that'll have consequences some somehow, so I don't know. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Hmm. It's a lot of one days. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I, bor I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down to my room. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. <laughs> Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. All right. What about the laptop? Oh. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. Quick sketch of my new muse. It's pretty good. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Camera porn. Welcome to camera porn. Your one stop web resource for almost every camera ever produced. Domestic or international. Okay. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Warren Graham, Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather electic collection of TV, cult classic, and effed up films on a fat flash drive if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now can you quickly explain to me how a camera works? Be seeing you. Warren G. All right. Okay, let's go get our flash drive back. <sighs> can't believe this. Oh, you can't get out now. Of Dana. course. Tell me the truth or rot in there. Great, 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 great. Okay. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. All right, what's going on here, Juliet? Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Okay, cool. That's what I was thinking. <sighs> what did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Mm. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking Because I need to get into her talk. room. Just zone out okay. with the camera. That's why I'm talking <laughs> to you now. What's my last name? Oh my god. Jeez, I don't know. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. <sighs> By the way, Juliet Watson. Look, no, 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 we're not. We're not doing this. Is it really that far back that I have to go? All right. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. Stupid. 
Juliet Watson, you be nice. You I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Well, uh, of course. Obviously, I, I knew your name from the I start. I Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Mm. Unbelievable. Would would Dana actually do something like that though? Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. All right. According I'm, to Victoria. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you where you went mm. wrong there. She saw the sex, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. <sighs> well, I also... Alright, don't worry. I'm five steps ahead of you. I'm going. Let's... Yes. Okay, should I, like, sneak around a little bit? Dior, Givenchy... You could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. Okay, do we really care about... Let's get to the juicy stuff. Anything juicy in here? Anything going on? I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Oh. The Blackwell Totem, the spirit of the new since 1898. Is the Vortex Club a cult? By Juliet Watson. One of Blackwell Academy's most durable and influential social groups, the Vortex Club, started in the neon 1980s as a new wave of... Um, as a new wave rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Regan area, uh, era. Imagine a time when computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for expulsion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. So the Vortex Club was originally a haven from the peer pressure that every generation experiences. How ironic that... How ironic, then, that the revolutionary roots of social misfits has become what some students claim as an elitist cult. Or is this just envy at one of Blackwell's most successful organizations? We tried to interview Vortex Club member Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to stop the story from publication. Well. Alrighty, then. So she's got a bigger room, doesn't she? Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. <laughs> All right. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. <sighs> Dear Miss Chase, thank you for your submission to the Croft Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. We appreciate your effort and wish you success in future endeavors. Oh, I'm hearing noises. Okay, okay, okay. Just calm down, just calm down, just calm down. Oh, she's got this in here, too. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? Wow. How insecure. Well, Hayden lied to us. Okay, no comment about that, I guess. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Well, we already knew that, so it's irrelevant. Let's look at this over here real quick. Yeah, I want to look at her photo gallery. Oh, I can mess up her stuff. Speaking of selfies. Uh, no, nah, no, 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 I'm not going to, I'm not going to. That's not why I'm here. And then she'll find out that we were in here. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. Alright, no. screw it. Use. Gotta do this quick. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Okay. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Uh, okay. So sad to inform you that I totally punked Julia and Dana just now. All I had to do is mention to Julia that I saw a nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumb ass, believe me. And and so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for sledding Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. Alright, how do I print? Ah. No? How do I do? How do? Ah, there you go. Print. Take. 
This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Better. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. It's probably not a good idea. I don't care what anybody says. That's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. It's probably not a good idea to sneak in like that. But okay. All right, Juliet. Come here. We're, we're solving this right now. Ugh. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. You're welcome. I do what I can. So. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. All right. Let's just do a little looking around real quick. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. I couldn't either, Dramatic, honestly. I guess. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Oh. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Why would I take why would I take that? Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. <laughs> I think you better go. I was just looking. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. All right, we'll go back. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Yeah, we'll just not even take it. No. Nope. Is there any other options? No, it's the same. This is both sad and pathetic. Uh, Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never a uh, had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pussed out. If you need any money, let me know. It would be a cool sticker without the words. Okay, so I'm guessing... I assume Dana kept the appointment. Okay... She just has this stuff out in the open, too. I mean, I know that I shouldn't be, like, nosy or whatever, but... Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. I'm not gonna say that. Uh, whew. Victoria is not nice. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend... Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. Yeah, I'm that's in it, true. And Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. Uh, sure. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Okay, so we found I found out something about her that I didn't actually know. Can we can we use that real quick? Of course a popular cheerleader Woo! like Dana would have a million friends. It's well it's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. You're right, right, right. I should have learned my lesson. Take my thumb drive and get out of Must here. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Okay, Max, you're freaking me out a little bit. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. Ooh. Good lord. Dana really was on her own. Oh. So, is she currently pregnant? 
I'm guessing, yes. That's crazy. Okay. All right. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. How dramatic. Okay. We're out of here. Momentarily at least. We're out of here. Okay. Fuck this shit. <gasps> Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Fuck. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Matt. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Yes! I'm a genius! Can I take a picture of this? Yes, I can. Haha! -ha. Look at me go! Oh no, did I miss taking a picture of my wall? Why is Victoria messaging me? Uh, by the way, thank you. Or thanks, but we're not friends. Fine. Don't want to be friends with you anyways. Okay. Why is it saying this updated? Oh. More high school drama. Juliet wouldn't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was sexting Dana. So stupid. I was so tired from everything. And since Dana borrowed Warren's flash drive, I had to intervene. Juliet told me Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zach and Dana. So I knew that Victoria was playing them all. I snuck into Victoria's room and onto her laptop and found out that she was indeed lying through her ass just to create drama. Of course, I feel like a weasel going through Victoria's room and laptop. Once I gave Vic Juliet the proof that Victoria was behind this, I went to get Warren's flash drive from Dana. She was in a weird mood, so I had a look around to see if I could find out why. I found a home pregnancy test along with a note from Logan and a doctor's appointment. Dana admitted she was pregnant. I realized that all my friends have troubles that are just as significant as mine. Well, she didn't admit, really. We didn't really even ask her. I think we may have missed a photo in the room. Whatever. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Going. What is this? Don't take it out on the tree, loser. Okay. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord. Nathan's family owns my dorm? That's probably not good. Oh. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Yeah, intervene. I'm not gonna take a photo. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. I will also remember this conversation. It works both ways. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. Aw, you're it welcome. Means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Oh, I love Kate so much. Okay, okay. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David. Dickhead is after Well, me. who cares? I don't care. He Maybe can... I should rewind and mind my own business? No. You... No. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. We are definitely not rewinding time. I'm happy with what we just did. I feel good about it. All right.
Okay. I think for. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Hold on, let's wait for Can't him to talk. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Okay. I think we're gonna call it good for now. A lot of stuff is going on. Um. I actually didn't even expect to find stuff in Dana's room. I didn't even think she was acting weird. The fact that she's pregnant, I didn't even know. I mean, like I said, I have watched people play this game before, like a long time ago, and I don't remember fi people finding that. Maybe they did, and I just don't remember it, but like that kind of shocks me a little bit. Didn't know about that. So, um, excited. I think maybe we're getting close to being done with episode one. Not sure. I do apologize. I'm definitely taking my time looking at everything. I know that can be annoying sometimes, but I feel like I'm understanding the story better. So, um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.